a Nigerian sculptor, Adeyemi Emmanuel, says an opportunity to turn discarded plastic waste into fashionable prices came, and he took it. He began to collect bits of discarded waste, and within days, he created a backpack. Now, he makes everything from rock sacks to money pouches, all covered in chips of used plastics. Uh, let's take a look. The sight of discarded plastic bottles and bags floating in the open drains of Nigeria's megacity Lagos moved visual artist Adeyemi Emmanuel to despair. So last year, he began collecting bits of discarded plastic and within days created a backpack. Seeing a way to raise environmental awareness in fashion-conscious Nigeria, in November, he launched a line of bags wallets and gift boxes made from plastic waste called Echo. Everything from rock sacks to money pouches are covered in chips of used plastic, which Emmanuel collects by hand primarily from craft workshops, such as leftover plastic from picture frames. He then spray paints them. I started experimenting with them and I just, I was just, I just keyed my old mind into just creating something out of that waste. So I just um, played around with it and I just found myself making it as chips and laying them on the bags and I felt it made sense and other people too should have it. Plastic waste in the form of discarded bags, food and drink packaging is ubiquitous in Lagos, a city of 20 million people. The city's waterways lead into the Gulf of Guinea, prompting concerns about the amount of plastic entering the sea. Lawmakers are also drafting a bill aimed at outlawing the production of plastics in Nigeria. Environmental activist Doin Sola Ogunye said Nigeria has several environmental laws that are simply not being enforced. Raising awareness via art and fashion was a step in the right direction. You know, people pay attention, you know, to these sectors and if they are paying attention to these sectors, it means that they are paying attention to the urgent issues of you know climate change climate crisis and also plastic pollution so when the sector when the art and the fashion sector are moving their um, what would i call it now when they're moving their radar to these issues is actually make, raising more awareness emmanuel who makes all his bags himself hopes his products start conversations and he's proud that they make money plastic bags are already banned elsewhere in africa Kenya has one of the toughest laws in the world, with the production or sale of plastic bags punishable by up to four years in prison or fines of $40,000.